So Google Sheets has several date functions built in that just extract different parts from a date. They go in order. They're pretty obvious once you see the first few. Year, month, day, hour, minute, second. A date and a time in Google Sheets can have all of these elements or just a few and they're represented by a number. And let's use this chart to figure out exactly what's going on behind the scenes when Google Sheets is getting a date. So the first example is just a regular date typed in with slashes. Sheets sees this just like you would expect it would. July 30th, 2016. Underneath, it's really just 42,581, which is the way Sheets stores numbers so that it can do arithmetic on them. But if you format it as a date, you're going to see July 30th. The next one just shows that if you use dashes, it still recognizes it. The third example is the way that you type in an exact day and time into Sheets. I did it by using slashes like what's in row 7 and then just typing in the time. It's able to extract all of that. And if, for example, you just want the hour, it gives you the hour in military time. So it's 1400 hour. There's no AM and PM, so it has to use 24 hour day. The next example just shows that you can type it in in English and it'll recognize it in the exact same way that it does in rows seven and eight. But then row 11 is going to show you how it does times without a date. So when it does a time, it puts it at 1899. This is a starting point for Google Sheets where it starts at serial numbering for dates. If you go before this, it uses negative numbers. But if you use no date and just a time, it puts you in 1899, December 30th, 1899. This function is kind of interesting because I'm combining things. So here I use the now function, which returns what it is right now. So you can tell when I'm doing this on a Sunday afternoon and it's splitting that apart. So if I were to refresh this and come in later, that second value would change. Actually, let me refresh this right now and see what happens. 14, 16, 33. I hit F5 to refresh it. 14, 16, 28. Uh, excuse me, I think we just traveled back in time. Oh, there we go. <laughs> so it refreshed. Now function, you're watching it live. How it works, pretty cool. This is the today function, and it returns just today's date. So if you look, the hour, minute, second, or blank. Oh, so for eight, it's purposely blank, and that shows you that if it's blank, it's the same as typing a zero. Let me type in a zero. Still December 30th, 1899. So if you just move that up by one, it moves you to December 31st, same year. If you do a quarter, this will just help you understand how it stores time a little bit better. It's still that 1899 date. But then if you format this as, but then if you format this as time, made at 6 a.m., which is a quarter of a day. And you can see that here as well, 6 a.m. And also I thought it was interesting if I just type in a number because underneath it's actually working in numbers. You type in 43,000 sheets can tell you hey, if this was a date, it'd be September 22nd, 2017.